Last week kicked off another season of high school football, and it was dominant for the Southview Tigers, scoring seven touchdowns to dominate in a 47-22 win. However, get this, just 48 hours later, coaches arrived to smoke and flames. You can see what they're carrying here, uh, all kinds of equipment that is just burned up here after a fire happened. But the community would not let the team miss their next game. WRL's Carly Haynes went to tonight's matchup in Hoke County and learn just how resilient this program is. Carly. Lena, if you want an idea of just how bad this fire was, all you need to do is look at this. A melted hanger carries a charred shirt with the Southview logo on it. And looking at this here tonight, it's that much more amazing that the team was able to play. Win or lose for the Southview High School football team, Friday's game was a victory because at one point, it didn't seem like it would happen. You start wondering, are you even going to play for the season? The team's equipment, once inside this gym, now being carried out. Jerseys, water bottles, and a whiteboard left charred and burnt in a dumpster. Just two days after a major win last Friday, the team lost all of their equipment in a fire at the school. Everything that was in the locker room, the gear that they're playing with, um, the coaches offices. The team said their auditorium became their locker room. Their body weight became their only weights. We thought we were gonna have to wear buckets and all the bad gear. But this team knows how to make a comeback. We just saw the Red Sea part for Southview. Friday, they're beaming in bright new jerseys and helmets. Donations from the community and alumni pouring in from all over the country in just four days. It was a symphony full of adults working in concert to help these kids play. The crowd cheering for the team that got a chance. Those Friday night lights back up and brighter than ever. Oh, there's no official word on what caused this fire. The principal of Southview High School said those assessments are still ongoing. Melina, this team was hoping for a win tonight, and I think they're going to get it. They're up 32 <laughs> nothing as oh. it stands right now. Look, they are winning across the board right now. It is incredible to see how the community stepped up. Carly Haynes reporting live for us in Hope County. Thank you.